What is going on guys? This is your boy came back coming back at you with a little bit of Call of Duty gameplay and it's time for another Car 2 Conspiracy. Um, now real quick about this gameplay, I don't really like playing Ghost, so it might not be the best gameplay on YouTube, but um, you know, you guys ask for gameplay now and then, so I thought I would change it up and play some gameplay. Now the, the theory we are going to be talking about today is, of course, the Aladdin theory where the genie from Aladdin is actually the merchant from the very first scene. Now if you are not familiar with this movie or if you just haven't seen it in a long time, I know this movie came out in 1993 and even though it's an all time classic, um, you may not uh, remember the first scene, you may not remember just everything. So let me go ahead and refresh your memory just a little bit. Like I said, this movie came out in 1993. Um, so basically the first thing you see is uh, a lonely merchant roaming through the desert on a camel. Uh, before arriving in the city of Arguba, or however you pronounce that, I'm terrible, he, he starts telling this story, he tries to pedal this off, and you're looking through a first-person view, so he's talking to you, the viewer, or who you eventually come to be the viewer, I guess he's talking to you directly. Um, he tries to sell you things, he pulls out the stand, he tries to sell you a hookah, he tries to sell you some other kind of Arabic items, and then he, as you start walking away, and tell, basically telling him, no, you're not interested, he, um, he pulls out this magical lamp, and he asks... You, uh, if you're interested in that, and he goes, there's an interesting story behind this lamp. It's it's um, changed the life of one lucky man. There used to be a genie in this lamp. And then he goes on to proceed to tell you the story. And by doing that, it jumps um, into the story, the actual movie itself, with Aladdin and all the other characters. Now, that part of the movie actually starts, we see Aladdin finding the magical lamp and making three wishes. The last of the wishes being to free the wish granting genie himself from the actual lamp. Now what the clear what the the theory is actually stating, like I said one more time, we restate this, is that the genie and the peddler who you see in the very first scene is actually the same person. Actually, he becomes the peddler um, who travels across the land trying to sell stuff because once the genie is released, he loses, apparently loses his power, becomes mortal, and this is what he does. Now you might be thinking this is crazy, but let's take a closer look at both of these. Now what I'm going to show you right now is a picture, a side by side of both the genie and of the merchant. Now, um, as you guys can see, they both have blue clothes, they have a, a red band around their waist, they both have bushy eyebrows and a beard ending in a curl. Um, is that That's a lot of things. Not only that, they're the only two characters in the entire movie to have four fingers instead of five. Both of them have that, nobody else does. That's kind of a big clue. Oh, and they're also, all, excuse me, they're also two characters that are both voiced by Robin Williams, who is just a, one of my favorite actors and great voice guy. I love that commercial he's in about the Snickers or whatever that commercial is. Very funny stuff. Anyway, in the last scene of the movie, right after the genie was freed, the last thing we see is him flying off into the desert. Um, basically, uh, but you know he's flying and stuff, but who's to say that his powers are not dwindling or starting to become mortal slowly? Um, basically, this theory breaks it down into uh, he loses his power slowly over time after he is freed and becomes mortal and becomes human again, and that's why. Um, now, I'm going to show you a couple pictures right now of the last scene where uh, the the genie is seen with the bottle. Aladdin's got the got the uh, lamp, excuse me, not the bottle, um, and he asked Aladdin to, to rub it and see if it still works. But by doing that, he's not he's not absorbed back into the lamp, so he knows that he is freed. And as soon as he does that, he shakes hands with it with Aladdin and and let this time the lamp is still in uh, excuse me I can't say this the lamp is still in Aladdin's hands when he shakes his hands but if you take a look at this picture right after that the lamp has disappeared it, it appears that the genie took the lamp and flew off never to be seen again and that is why um, you know the lamp is not seen again until you know the merchant who you, who is actually at the very beginning of the movie but is actually after the events you see at the last scene. Um, that's why he has the lamp because the genie took the lamp then became the merchant that is the theory and uh, it's actually really kind of cool and it's actually kind of one of the deeper theories I've actually ever heard and uh, I thought it was really interesting to share with you guys so I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on this theory if you guys have any input thoughts you know if we really, I would love to see if you guys think I'm wrong right whatever I love all this kind of stuff make sure you guys are subscribing as well um, also if this video hits to 500 likes before the end of the weekend I will go ahead and put out the next week's theory a day early as always you guys have been killing it lately mashing that like button and I cannot say how much I appreciate that appreciate that so so much guys so as always guys have a good day and get the fuck on until next time peace out
All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys go ahead, like I said, drop a like, 500 likes. We'll drop out the next video a day early next week. And you guys can come and check out some other series going on. I have some epic showdown going on when I do Goku versus Superman. There's some other cool videos. Also, my other previous cartoon conspiracy theories are all in a playlist for you guys. Come please check that out. And like I said, guys, have a great day. Game the fuck on. Peace out.